Hello YouTube, welcome one and all, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm just letting everything load up. There we go. Ah, that's better. Oh! I see why Germany are having so much tr tr trouble. They're uh, fighting the British over here. Which means they do not have a lot of troops over here. You guys don't think you're able to. Uh, let me deploy. I'm going to... Add an extra unit of you guys, and add an extra unit of you guys. And I'm gonna edit you as well. Give you guys support artillery. And the armor division. Do you wanna give you another light tech? No, I think you're fine as it is. We are finally getting rid of um, King Carol. Finally being able to do that. Um, go. So you guys are not happy thinking you can do what you can do. Uh, but yeah, I was about to say, I think you guys can kill these guys. So I don't think they have access to a port. Maybe they do. Ah. The Soviet Union annexes uh, Tanutuba. In a press release earlier today, Moscow announced the formal annexation of Tanudura. The Supreme Soviet agreed to a request from the Tuvian Parliament for membership in the USSR. The small Tuvian People Republic, which has only been officially recognized by the Soviet Union and Mongolia, will be reorganized as an autonomous oblast. Tanu, what? The public knows half of those words wrong. Okay, so you guys are all there. I'm with Phyllis. There we go. That just kills all you guys. Turkey is having a lot of trouble with Greece. You know what? Let's have a look. Oh, we need. I think we need some garrison forces. So let's train another line of garrison forces. Make two lines of that. So, you guys think you can potentially do that. And the Germans don't have a lot of troops over here. Not a lot of manpower. The Free French are causing problems for the Italians here. An awful lot of troops here. I mean, we're our 24 tr divisions here are um, <clears throat> like holding off. Look at that, 21. There's 21 divisions in there at least on their own, so. Yeah, experience. What are we researching? Ah, the fighter. Okay, it's only two. Okay, let's go. There's an awful lot of German troops down here. You think you can go? No, it's minus 20. It's minus 30, yeah.
was so well dug in, I don't think you're going to be able to do that. Well, that looks... If, the, if we can get the Russians to trigger across the entire front, the Germans are going to collapse. Ah, forced abdication. We're going to instantly get this. Get the new re, re, more research. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. My apologies. King Cowell II abdicates. Pressured by powerful elements in his government, King Cowell II saw no choice but to announce and sign his abdication. His successor is King Michael, but many of the dictatorial powers outlined by Cowell have been vested back into government, and so it is unlikely that the young king will be able to wield similar power as his predecessor. Following his abdication, Cowell appears to have, be, have emptied his expansive bank accounts and fled into exile, taking up residence in one of Mexico City's more expensive neighbourhoods with his mistress, Magda Lupescu. Good riddance. There we go, we don't no longer have... Gonna stay national unity plus five, awesome. And we got that for now. <clears throat> See if that triggers the Soviets. Oh, yes, it does. Come back in the Black Sea. Take a convoy again. Absolutely. Annihilated. Where are my aircraft? Ah, there you go. Uh, I don't think you need to go here. I think we can. There we go. <coughs> We go. Probably not gonna. Oh, that's. Uh... Oh, we took Venice. Okay. Uh... Stop your attacks. Stop the attacks. Stuff yours as well. Uh, yeah, we'll keep let that attack continue. So you think you can? Uh... There you go. There are eight divisions. Right, okay. We need some new research. Get you. Outdated equipment. It's being produced. I'm going to create a uh, variable. We want, a little bit more. we want some range. Yeah. Let's go. Save that. These up to max. There we go. None. Uh, what do we need? We need a lot of steel. Send that. We need some tungsten. We'll get that from the 
Soviets. Uh, we need oil. Get that from the Soviets. Uh, rubber. It's going to be literally no one. Okay. So how does that do for... Fighting hard for Bratislava. Yeah, you don't think you can uh, pull that off? That's fine. Yeah, we'll come back again. German convoy. Attention. Oh, looks like we can win this. No. Oh, kids. Come on. Oh, auto saving, I think. There we go. Perhaps I should give you some tanks. Strike tactics has been done. <clears throat> right, so what does that do? Interception mission efficiency. Air superiority. Air, we, we want air superiority. Give me that. Please and thank you. So what's going on along the Soviet border? Uh, they seem to have stopped their attacks as well. Again, all the Germans have come over here. Are they forces back there. I think they have. There we go. Three divisions of light tanks. <clears throat> Trade interdiction. Uh, I think we're in. Yeah, we're in 19, oh, we're in 1941, but we can get that. There we go. Awful lot of troops up here, around here. And they're all getting there. Uh... Go. Go. Let's start the Soviets off again. It does. There we go. Four divisions there now. Oh, come on! Oh, no. oh, the United States joined the Allies. Japan declared. Oh, Japan declared war on the United States. They just done the divine win. Imperial glory. I think they have. I think they have actually. Interesting. British Malaya is uh, getting its booty kicked by Japan. Well, yeah, there is there is no German army in the north. There is no German army in the north. Stop your attacks. Throwing. 
Gata de marș. Atenție! La comandă! Ordonați! Ok, something's going wrong. La comandă! Hey. Why would you not stop in your attacks? Oh! Oh, the United States is called in the Philippines. Uh, Bratislava, I think, is going to fall. That is a salient that will not... Oh, dear God, look at this. Move! Look at all these men! Look at them! Just... These Russian tanks should storm to Berlin. Throwing in Slovakia into... Oh, no, that's it. I think Slovakia's done. Slovakia has capitulated. Constantine Iron Ferron has announced the cowardly Slovakian nation will no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of the Romanian forces throughout the country. The Slovakian government has chosen to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated and the Romanian People's Republic is now in control of their home area. The war against the what remains of the Axis continues elsewhere. This is a great victory for all of the country. Great! And we get a whole bunch of stuff. Attacking anywhere? I don't think so. Okay, so it's your. Yeah, you. We've got to get rid of these guys. Oh dear. More naval combat in the Black Sea. How the friggin' hell did you not win? Stop your attacks that way, then. Jesus. I don't want to get the effects of that, so that's fine. Okay. Stop your offensive because you've done what you needed to do. Where is your front line? Hey, more research. Um, research that, I think. There we go. There are some Germans there now. There, yeah, you're silently confident. Let's go. Ah, you're not in. No, not in position. Green troops here. Adunara. Is 
Turks are holding off the Greeks here. They are not holding off the Russians, though. This is much better. There we go. Istanbul has fallen. We get to cross this. We control the strait. Submarine. There we go. We're going to make a front line. Go. Yeah, we're gonna go get you. Get that port. Okay. Yeah, by the way, I'll take two, two units, throw them into you. Right, you now can be the Middle East theatre. Since you're no longer in Europe. And you can be the European. You can be the European Europe theatre. Uh, uh, what am I gonna get? I think we get this. There we go. We got the those guys. Um, Naval doctrine, maybe. Get our productivity <coughs> higher. That is a vulnerable line there. Although well, we're not attacking, so that's fine. Equipment is other subs, yes, it is. Could create a little variant, bit of stealth, bit of engine. There we go. Yes, we're gonna switch over to making those. Can modify the government. There is literally no German forces in the north. I really don't understand that. There's 23 divisions here. There's 23 divisions here, and no one in the north. Uh, have you completed your mission? Not really. Look at how the situation down south is. Perilous. With the amount of troops there. I mean, they're getting attrition like hell, but still. Throw more manpower at it. Bases in no supply, air wings with no missions. Yep. 
throw more more air power at it. We can probably get our first uh more bomber. The fall of Pearl Harbor! Japanese forces have stormed and taken Honolulu, the largest city on the Hawaiian island of Oahu. Oh, how? The naval base of Pearl Harbor, formerly headquarters of the US Pacific Fleet, has also fallen. According to witnesses, beleaguered American sailors and marines retreated to Fort Island, where they continued to offer stubborn resistance until they were subjected to an intense artillery and an aerial bombardment. With this island under control, the long reach of the Imperial Japanese Navy has become greater still. Well, that is a first. They have actually taken Pearl Harbor. Now here's the thing, will the Japanese, will the Ameri the Allies actually, the Americans actually realise the problem they're in? Or will they send troops up here? I don't know. The AI is ridiculously dumb and seems to be slanted towards just hitting, um, Munich is uh, undefended, let's go and... Do we have any tank divisions? Mm. They're in that attack, but that's silly. You head over there. That'll be a very good encirclement. Okay, there's Prague in our control. We march towards Leipzig. We march towards Ithford. We walk into Stuttgart. Wow, that's a large encirclement. Well done, Russia. My guys. Uh, yeah, you're heading over there. You're heading over there, that's fine. Uh, you head to Frankfurt as well. But the Soviets have changed their pl battle plans. The British are still there. Jesus, 20 Yeah, we're just gonna leave that like, giant group. And they're gonna leave that giant group as well, because they're, they're, they're going to die. Attenzione! Just keep on the pressure. Berlin is close to falling. Uh, do I have any troops around near, near them? No. Wow, the front is. The front is moving so fast that a lot, some of the troops can't keep up with it. Those guys are going to be dead pretty darn soon. So are those guys. We're just going to wait and wait and wait. Okay, we've got that done. We want the next line of bombers. Ground uh, support. The fall of Berlin. A Soviet communique has announced the capitulation of all German forces in Berlin. After encircling the city, 
This, the Russians stormed it from several different directions, with German defenders resisting furiously every step of the way. Soviet troops finally brought their, fought their way across the Mokhe Bridge and into the Reichstag building, fighting room by room until they reached the roof where the Soviet flag was raised over the city. Battle for Berlin is over. And now your capital is Hamburg. Attenzione. Okay. Uh, do we have any more troops? Jesus, my front line. You head to Strasbourg. You head over to there. Your way to there. You march your way to there. You march your way to there. What is, what is that? Bitburg. Which is literally on the border of Luxembourg. Yeah, I think the Germans are done. In fact, so much so that the Soviets are actually fighting the British now. We get to Essen. We get to Köln. And granted, the Soviets have given us <laughs> given us that territory, which is quite worrying. The Allies are now breaking through everywhere here as well. Attention! Oh, you go there. When you go there, you attack him to stop him from going there. No, no, they're actually going to stop us here. Oh, I've overrun. Uh, whoops. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I will see you all in the next one. Until then, toodles. Hello, YouTube.